from making sure that actors take Marvel's secrets to the grave to banning any kind of collaboration with their biggest rivals DC, here's a list of all the strict rules that MCU actors have to follow. So let's start off with how actors often have to sign on for multi-movie deals. Since its inception in 2008, the MCU has spawned a number of exciting movie series that focus on some of their weirdest and wildest superheroes. And the big scale of the series wouldn't have been possible without Marvel's multi-movie contracts where stars agreed to appear in more than one movie. Did you know that the biggest names in the MCU have signed contracts to be in a lot of full-length movies? In fact, some of the stars have already signed contracts for up to nine films. And because of these contracts, the world's most popular heroes will always be on the big screen, continuing their great adventures for fans to enjoy fully. But there's one thing that they absolutely cannot do. Spoilers are a big fat no. Everyone knows that being a fan of the MCU can be hard, especially since the internet makes it hard to avoid spoilers. And you know what the studio's done to prevent this? They make sure that their stars who talk too much are with other cast members who are better at keeping secrets. Kinda balances it out, I guess. And one good example of this is how Marvel treats Tom Holland. I mean, the guy's got a super bad reputation for giving away secret information. And as much as fans love it, the studio tries its best to keep him shushed. Like when they wanted to stop him from giving away the plot of Avengers Infinity War, they put him in a scene with Benedict Cumberbatch, who was told to put his hand over Holland's mouth. So, so yeah, are, yeah, there are there new characters in this movie? Are there new characters? in this movie. Ha, um, la, 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 <laughs> we heard the Captain Marvel's gonna make an appearance. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, it even sounds funny, but this was a necessary step to make sure that people were surprised by the company's most ambitious movie in which Thanos wins over the Avengers. And of course, since I'm already talking about their no spoilers policy, it's a given that the screenplays can't be taken home. Elizabeth Olsen told Jimmy Kimmel Live about Marvel's policy on script which is one of the craziest things they've done to stop leaks from getting online. Of it, I don't know what they want us to say, but um, when I found out about it, Feige had Paul and I come in at different times into his office, and it really felt like being... Um, called into the principal's office. Due to the studio's strict rules, the group has to read the script alone in a room with no windows. The actress went on to say that the stars have five hours to watch what's on the iPad before they have to leave the room. And sometimes the studio goes as far as to giving its actors and actresses fake scripts just to trick them and make sure that their secret information doesn't get posted online. I mean, that's a little extreme, don't you think? Similarly, there's also a rule for the directors and writers of the company. They must follow the MCU's in-universe rules. Connectivity is a big part of the MCU because all of the amazing stories take place in the same world. So for these stories to feel like they belong together, they must all follow the same rules of storytelling. AC Bradley and Brian Andrews, who wrote and directed What If, have mentioned how they thought Marvel wanted them to understand these rules. So using the Infinity Stones as an example, the people who made what If have said that Marvel Studios told them they couldn't follow the rules set up in the books. This isn't the first time the MCU has gone against the comics, and it's super important to follow the rules of the film world to make sure that all of these projects take place in the same continuity. This, of course, reduces the chance of story holes that could make people question their canonicity. But perhaps the most important rule that actors have to follow is they cannot go to DC. So, once a star joins the MCU, they can't be in any DC Extended Universe movies. Chris Hemsworth said at the 2017 Supernova Comic Con in Australia that it's against the law for a Marvel star to work on a DC movie. And actors who are already part of the Marvel team aren't allowed to take on a role as a DC character. This is to keep the two worlds from getting mixed up. And to be honest, this non-compete clause makes total sense. Everyone knows that Marvel and DC are 
are direct rivals and have a super fierce business rivalry, almost on the same level as Starbucks and Dunkin. So Marvel carefully chooses people they think will make them a lot of money through box office sales and merchandise. And it makes sense that they do everything they can to stop these carefully chosen actors from making the same amount of money for their competitors. The agreement seems to be good for both companies, since having actors jump from one world to the other could make things confusing for fans of both. What's more, well, you see those crazy action-packed Marvel films, how do you think they're able to pull off all those jaw-dropping stunts that leave audiences mesmerized? With extensive training, obviously. The players in the MCU have to train a lot for these powerful scenes. For example, the late Chadwick Boseman worked for months with martial arts fighter Maurice Crump. <laughs> The MCU's actors must learn how to fight with the help of the studio's experienced fight choreographers, especially since these roles involve a lot of intense superhero fights. Also, stars like Chris Pratt have been putting their bodies through tough workouts and diets for months just to make sure that they're ready for these action-packed roles. Since I've already mentioned how the studio is stricter than most production companies, you should also know that reshoots are a must. Yep, for whenever they need new scenes, to make their scripts better, Kevin Feige's company requires that their stars shoot these new scenes as soon as they can. But Idris Elba was very upset by this part of Marvel Studios' rules. He was frustrated that he had to do reshoots for Thor The Dark World. The actor who plays Heimdall had to go back to the Thor set as soon as he got back to England from shooting Mandala Long Walk to Freedom Abroad. This also meant that he didn't have time to rest after his long flight the day before. But just like that, the studio doesn't appreciate when actors talk about the working conditions. Many people in film and TV are excited about the idea of working at Marvel Studios because the company makes a lot of ambitious projects. But even though these very skilled people may want to talk about their roles in Marvel's movies, they can't because it's against their contract. And it looks like this rule really bothers Ethan Hawke, who's been in some great movies. In an interview, the actor who plays Moon Knight said that he signed a non-disclosure agreement that keeps him from talking about what it's like to work for Marvel Studios. Other than that, it's also true that no filming is allowed while actors are backstage or on set. Marvel Studios is known for making some of the most beautiful superhero movies because of how well they shoot. Even though there are some really beautiful shots in these movies, the cast and team aren't allowed to take their own photos and videos. They're worried that these photos could end up online, so they have a strict no filming rule, mostly because backstage pictures could give away plot details about their movies. But on the set of Avengers Endgame, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans broke this rule on purpose because they couldn't avoid taking pictures of the movie's grand behind-the-scenes production. Well, this is it, guys. These were all the strict rules that MCU actors need to follow.